you were given a 50-50 chance of surviving cancer and you beat the odds, you might think that you would live the rest of your life without fear. But a young Victoria man admits that he was trapped by psychological fear after conquering leukemia. It wasn't until a friend and filmmaker invited the cancer survivor on an Incan adventure that he began to unload his emotional baggage from his life-threatening illness. Now that physical and emotional odyssey has been turned into a documentary. And A-News reporter Mary Beth Burton has the story. A good friend of mine once said, you can't stay in a safe place forever. The Cancer is a short documentary about Ryan Hendren, who found out he had leukemia just before his 19th birthday. I mean, I, I firmly believed in my mind that I wouldn't live to see my 25th birthday. Six months of intense hospital-based treatments ended. Ryan knew the five-year survival rates for adult leukemia were 50-50. He returned to university and pretended to be well, but lived in constant fear. You wake up in the morning, and you have a sniffle, and it's just this momentary panic, you know, that gripping fear that just sort of ripples through your body of, like, is this back? Is this it? Is the relapse happening? While Ryan spent years gaining his physical strength back, his friend David Tun was changing careers from paramedic to adventure filmmaker. The destination was Peru's Machu Picchu. Ryan's 10-year cancer-free anniversary was the original concept for the documentary. He was worried about traveling away from a big metropolitan area that had a, a cancer center. If he got sick, he wanted chemo right away. And here we'd be going off to Peru. And uh, so I thought, you know, maybe there was some, some little bit of conflict there. Ryan fought through the fear with every step up the Andes. At the same time, he began to understand the psychological burden he was carrying from cancer. How do you feel, Ryan? I feel great. At the peak, a Peruvian medicine man performed a cleansing ritual. Ryan says this was one of many spiritual moments that helped him heal the emotional scars left by leukemia. For whatever reason, a month and a half after I came home, it was literally like taking my first deep, fresh breath of fresh air in 10 years, and it was gone. Ryan's been breathing deep ever since. He conquered Africa's Mount Kilimanjaro this summer. Plus, his documentary is being shown at film festivals with the hopes of reaching out to other cancer patients and their loved ones who are suffering a similar psychological load. I mean, I was hanging out with Ryan all the time during this emotional, emotionally tumultuous time for him. And, um, and I didn't really even know what was going inside until I started telling this story. You can purchase a copy of Cancer Online. Ryan's next trek is the Light the Night fundraiser for leukemia and lymphoma at the University of Victoria on October 24th. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News. We'll take a break, but there's much more to come. Vancouver Island Report is next.